I would say the one trait that separates the most successful people from the least successful people is that the most successful ones practice delayed gratification. That they do not have to win today, that they can focus on tomorrow. And it's interesting because we did a podcast a few weeks ago uh, where I shared my, my daily routine. And I don't know if we've ever gotten more negative feedback from an episode than that. Okay, now there's a lot of positive feedback, of course, but the, you know, the, the negative voices are the loud ones. We talked about that, you know, as of this year, I don't have any meetings until noon. I drop our girls off. We go together in the mornings to drop them off at school. I wake up, I do the sauna, I do the cold plunge, I exercise, I'm journaling, I'm meditating. I do a lot of these, like in quotes, like self-care practices before I go into the office. And I got a whole lot of the, that must be nice stuff, right? Someone said, well, I can't do that. Well, of course you can't. It would be preposterous if you could. I mean, think about it. If you could just decide today to say that you're not going to come in until noon and that you're going to go from working, I don't know, 70, 80 hours a week to maybe 30 hours a week and you don't have the right people in place, you don't have any systems in your business, you don't have a support team, there's really no capability there that's been established, you haven't dedicated years to putting those right pieces in place, then what do you think is going to happen? Of course you can't. You can't just say like today I decide I'm going to work half the amount of time I was working previously and I'm going to like sit back and go sit in saunas and cold plunges and make eight figures passively. Like if you could, I mean, how disrespectful would that be? Think about it. Like imagine that you could make that decision and then all those things would happen without putting any of the pieces in place, without any of the focus, the commitment, the dedication, the long hours and like the seven day work, because all the things you have to do, the sweat equity that you have to put in over years to establish those systems, those structures to get the right people in place and to build a great organization. Imagine you could skip all that and just make a decision. I'm going to work half the amount of hours and then everything's going to be wonderful. How disrespectful that would be to those who do do those things. Think about that. So of course that doesn't work. I mean, look, the laws of phys physics do not allow it. The reason why I share that routine is, is my belief that many entrepreneurs start businesses because their goal is freedom and they want to be able to spend their time how they want to spend it around the people they want to spend it with doing the things that they want to do. I mean, that's the reason you start a business. If you don't want freedom or control over the environment within your life, well, then you're generally not going to start a business to become an entrepreneur. And isn't the goal to be able to create an environment for yourself where you can focus on your health, spending time with your family and being actively engaged in your business? I mean, isn't that the point? If you're thinking long term, I'm going to work 80 hours a week, 100 hours a week forever. I mean, is that a destination worth chasing? Absolutely not. And at the same time, imagine I'm one of those guys that we're in our 11th year of business with Chris. We had a business before this one was five years. I mean, let's just say 16 years. And for about 15 of those years, worked an average of about 70 to 80 hours a week. How many times did we work seven days a week, Saturday and Sunday, especially before the girls were born, every single day, taking all this risk, all this stress for years and years and years and years trying to figure this stuff out isn't the goal that you get to a place where you no longer have to work that way and you could achieve the same or even greater results. Isn't that the whole point?